Hey guys, welcome back to Daisy's Garage. So in today's episode, what I thought I would do is I would show you guys how to remove all this swirl marking that's left in the plastic trim on the Focus RS. Somebody left a comment in one of my polishing videos as to how to remove scratches from plastic, so I thought I'd use this as an example. So if you want your plastic trim to go from this to looking like this, with no scratches in it, then stay tuned to the video and uh, let's make a start just now. Okay, so what you're gonna to need to begin with is you're gonna need a machine polisher um, because you're just not gonna be able to do this by hand, unfortunately. But if you have a machine polisher, it doesn't matter the spec, it doesn't matter whether it's a Rupes or a Meguiar's, a cheap one you bought out of Harbour Freight in America or Halfords in the UK. You need some kind of machine polisher because you, really, you need it to give a really, really even, smooth finish. Um, so you're gonna need a machine polisher there, no there, masking tape. So you're gonna need a machine polisher, you're gonna need an ultra fine pad for it. So a really, really soft pad. It's gonna not got much, it's not gonna have much bite and that's exactly what you want because you don't want a lot of bite because you're dealing with very soft plastic. So very soft machine polishing pad, some kind of ultra fine uh, finishing polish. In this exa example, I'm using Diamond Ultra Fine by Rupes. You can't see that because it's all blurry. Come on, there we go. Diamond Ultra Fine by Rupes. This stuff is brilliant because it doesn't have any fillers in it at all. Um, so what you see is the end result. You don't have to worry about IPA wiping it down after. This is what this is the result it will give you. So this stuff is really good. I highly recommend it. Highly recommend all the Rupes compounds to be honest. But this is the one we're going to use for this example. And obviously, you're going to need some masking tape. The reason why you need masking tape is because we're going to mask off the rubber parts. So these rubbers here, the rubbers down either sides of the door, we're going to mask them off. You do not want to get polish on those bits. It's an absolute nightmare to get off again. Does the rubbers absolutely no good whatsoever to have polish on them. So we'll mask them off and that way that's not going to be a problem. So let's go on with that just now. Obviously, the first thing you want to do is give the bottle a shake. And with this finishing compound, you really, really want to put really small amounts of it on. You do not need a lot at all. The good thing about this stuff is it's water-based. So it spreads really, really easy. So that's literally as much as you need. And that's quite a big pad as well. So what we're going to do is going to do this one first leave this one as it is so you can see the difference on the camera okay so quick dab on so it's basically the exact same as you would machine polish any car to be honest but put it to its lowest speed setting just give it a quick once over so that's an arrow dent and then put it up to speed setting five and then just going to slowly work it over the panel so exact same way you would do for any machine polishing cross hatching so we're going to go left to right first then up and down left and right and up and down again making sure we cut get the entire entire area and then we'll wipe it off and see you can see the difference for yourself Okay. 
Now hopefully, when I zoom this back in, you'll be able to see the difference. It should be like night and day. Hmm, <laughs> can't get the angle. Right, so I had to take it off the tripod because I just could not get it to focus. But So this is the side we've just done. This is one pass at it, remember. So you can go over it two or three times to remove all the, these scratches here, right? But look at the difference when you compare it to this side. You can see all the scratches in it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go through the exact same process on this one. Remove all the swirl marks that you can see there. I'm really sorry about the light. I cannot seem to make it want to show the, what I can see. But you can still see the swirl marks there. So I'll leave everything as it is right now. We'll machine polish that bit and hopefully that won't be there anymore. And you'll see exactly what I mean as to how good this is. So hopefully this time around you actually witnessed it firsthand and my camera didn't decide to do something stupid. Fingers crossed that it didn't. But you can see the see the difference from what it looked like before to what it looks like now. I'll go get the flashlight just quickly and I'll try and get a close up for you. Two hours later. I've been trying to catch it on an angle where I can show you the scratches that are remaining. There's a couple of scratches down here and there's a couple of scratches over here. But unfortunately, no matter what angle I point the camera at, I cannot seem to catch the scratches in any meaningful way. But yeah, compared to what it looked like before, I mean, that is an absolute success. Because if you look at that, which we've just finished, and this panel, which I'm just about to do, you can see the difference as clear as day. I mean, look at how badly scratched that is. That's a non-touched, that's the, this is the rear door. And you can see how badly scratched it is. All the micro scratches. As you flip over to this one, way better. So yeah guys, that's the end of the video. Um, I hope you liked it. I apologize if the camera works pretty shoddy. But all you need for it, machine polisher with a soft pad on it. Need some masking tape and some kind of polish. Doesn't necessarily need to be Rupez's polish, although it is incredibly good polish. But it doesn't need to be Rupez's polish. Be any any kind of ultra fine polish will do the job. Try and get one that's not got fillers in it, so you get a, a true reflection of what the uh, corrected panel looks like after. Um, but I mean, that's just look how glossy and black that looks compared to that. So I should probably go and fix this one now. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was uh, helpful to you if you're trying to fix micro scratches on black plastic trim. And uh, I will see you all in the next video. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. I keep forgetting to say that in these videos nowadays. Click the subscribe button if you could. That would be awesome. Um, getting close on 1400 subscribers, which doesn't sound like much, but it's a huge amount to me. And uh, click the like button and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.